Today we have three pop chart topping ladies we'd all love to go shopping with. Dua Lipa, Sabrina Carpenter, and Olivia Rodrigo. This celebrity lifestyle expert will be checking out items in a basket that represent different expenses of the rich and famous. She'll be telling stories, spilling tea, and tallying up the price of fame. Who spent their 21st birthday buying cigarettes and a six pack? I really don't know which of these fabulous ladies would have done that, but let's see. Oh, Olivia Rodrigo, what were you up to? And it only cost her $20, my goodness. I think that that's the low threshold for her spending. Ooh, okay. Celebrity Dream Chateau. I cannot wait to discuss all of the fabulous properties that the three of these women own. Let's get started with Sabrina Carpenter, shall we? So in 2023, in the middle of her era's tour, she bought a $4.4 million home in the Hollywood Hills. This is where the who's who of California dreaming people buy their homes so they can relax and just enjoy all of the glamour of Hollywood. Yes, okay. So when Sabrina Carpenter actually purchased this home in the Hollywood Hills, she landed a deal. She landed a deal that was 400,000 less than asking price. The developer that Sabrina bought the home for actually put in $2.25 million into this home. So obviously everything about it is glitz and glamor fit for this espresso queen. That is not the only home of Sabrina Carpenter. She simultaneously owns a $1.7 million home in Northridge. Dua Lipa, as we know, is quite the tenacious young woman. At just 15 years old, she moved away from home to pursue her career in singing. And guess what? It worked because at just 22, when she was 22 years old, she bought herself a glamorous London Victorian home for $8.8 million that's now valued at $11.2 million. Dua did get herself into a little bit of hot water with a conservationist group when she wanted to make more customizations to the home, including a pool, a recording studio, a lobby, a waiting area, as well as a cinema room. But she ended up winning and is making all those adjustments to customize her home even further. So Dua Lipa has certainly stayed true to her roots. She was born in London to a Kosovo Albanian family and is now building a mega mansion after receiving citizenship from Albania's president. So this should be exciting to see the property she's building. She also gives back quite a bit, but we'll get there later. Our girl Olivia Rodrigo snatched up a $3 million mansion in Studio City. And that's not all. She also bought a posh property in the coveted community neighborhood of the West Village called Greenwich Village in New York City. Price unknown, but we do know it is the priciest neighborhood in New York City. And as somebody who lives here, I just hope I get an invite soon because I can't wait to see what she's got. Oh, yes, I, I know what to do. Okay, my shopping basket awaits and I've got to get to the next product or service that our celebrities love. I'm reaching in. Oh my goodness. So we're talking travel and all the ways that our celebrities love to do it. Olivia Rodrigo, unlike her lyrics, did not get her driver's license last night because it took her four tries to get her license, but now she gets to drive around in a $100,000 Land Rover. So isn't that just fabulous? Sabrina gets around in style, that's for sure, because she's got a Tesla, a BMW, a Lexus, and a toy Ferrari car. Now that toy Ferrari car that she can drive in is $400 from Wayfair. Oh my gosh, because she actually can get in it, right? Yeah. I did. That's funny, I did something like that in high school. Our girl Dua Lipa really takes the cake when it comes to her car collection. She's got a Rolls Royce Ghost, Range Rover SVA, a Porsche Taycan, a Mercedes G550, a Range Rover Vogue, a Jaguar F-Type, Jaguar I-Pace, BMW 5 Series, and a Mini Cooper S, how cute. She's got two Jags, so clearly there's some sort of relationship or partnership there. My goodness, this girl is winning the car competition, hands down. Like, how do you choose what car to drive in when you have that many vehicles? Is it based on your outfit, your mood? Who knows? But clearly she's doing something right. Beep, beep. I'm reaching into my shopping box. What is next? Oh my gosh, I feel my wallet expanding. I am going for my professional chocolate. We are talking about all of the services that these ladies need. Some of the services that Olivia Rodrigo had to pay included royalties to Jack Antonoff, Taylor Swift, 
and Paramore's Haley Williams. We know that Deja Vu and Good For You were big hits, but there were also similarities to Antonoff's, Swift's, and Haley Williams songs. So that cost her $1.2 million plus $651,000. Can you add that up? We know that Dua Lipa isn't afraid to open her wallet when it comes to collaborating with popular artists. She paid DaBaby about $350,000 to collaborate on a song, then she later removed him because he had some questionable behavior. Beep. I'm reaching because I want more. I am gonna grab my little gin. So Sabrina Carpenter is using Sun Home Saunas in her very comfortable backyard. She recently was seen posting on Instagram, relaxing, and after being nominated for six VMAs and taking home Song of the Year, this espresso drinking queen needs some rest and relaxation. So kudos to you, sister. These girls are so well-dressed. I cannot get to my closet box soon enough. And I'm so excited to see what is in their dream closet. Oh my goodness. I am all about a woman that loves to reward herself after a huge accomplishment. And that's exactly what Olivia Rodrigo did after she finished recording her album Sour. She went out and bought herself a $12,000 Chanel maxi bag. Girl, you got it. Rock it, flaunt it, sing it, sister. There is one thing for sure, Dua Lipa has graduated to fabulousness. She loves her Tiffany graduated link. That costs $83,000 and she can be seen wearing in Instagram videos, really pretty much anywhere she goes, she loves this thing. But what I love about this is Dua Lipa likes to flex. She likes to flex her fabulousness because she actually layers two of them. So that's $83,000 times two. That is what, $166,000? $166,000, that's right. I'm not a mathematician, that's why I do TV. Other celebrities that you've seen wearing this incredible Tiffany necklace include Beyonce and Kendall Jenner. So clearly Dua is in some good company. In 2020, Dua Lipa bought herself a 138,000 gold tennis bracelet. I love a girl that knows how to celebrate herself and that's exactly what this singing queen did. Dua Lipa's current fashion inspiration I could not be more excited about. It's a Richard Quinn by Montclair Twiggy inspired puffer jacket and legging collaboration. Each item within could cost between $2,000 and $2,700. Boy, I better keep working because I want to be Montclair'd out. What I love about Sabrina Carpenter is she is not afraid to go secondhand shopping. In fact, she embraces it and makes it so fabulous. She bought a secondhand dress from Cache that millennials wouldn't dream of calling vintage, but Gen Zers absolutely would. Now, Sabrina's dress, well, it was originally purchased for $50, but what did Sabrina spend on it secondhand? $1,110 for a dress that was cut short into a mini. I'd be remiss if I did not touch on philanthropy. Dua Lipa loves the Sun Hill Foundation. She stays true to her roots in Kosovo, is super involved and active, and actually donated $120,000 to the esteemed philanthropy in 2018. Sabrina Carpenter is a huge lover of animals, and the Sabrina Carpenter Fund helps people and animals in a lot of uplifting ways. Olivia Rodrigo also gives back with her Fund for Good Philanthropy. Now she helps women with reproductive rights and educating women and really just supports females all around. While we don't have specific numbers, both Sabrina and Olivia give back with their entertainment, their hearts, and their wallet. I'm so excited about this next mystery reveal. So she started singing her covers seven years ago, uploading them to YouTube, and spent $549 on the Yamaha keyboard to do it. Let's see who the savvy spender is. Sabrina Carpenter! I knew I loved you, Sabrina Carpenter. You keep singing into our hearts with that $549 Yamaha. We love the songs you sing, covers or not.